now that we've got the top sides completely stripped down, I take it down to about this point, you know, you don't have to worry about getting absolutely every spot off. So we're gonna take 60 grit rough sanding disc and I'm gonna smooth it all out from here on with this um, on an orbital sander and it's going to be connected to the shop vac, um, which is helpful because the vacuum will kick on when you're sanding and it cuts down on dust a tremendous amount. <laughs> so this is an orbital sander, which is what I prefer to use because not only does it uh, go around in circles, but it's sort of like, it's called a random orbit. So it sort of moves around too. And um, that way you don't get as much of the the circle patterns in your wood. Press that down. You can see how in some spots it's completely bare wood. Other spots like the seams here, there's still some paint, still some old putty, still scratches. That's because these areas here were higher than, and these areas are, are in lower. So by keeping the sander flat and keeping it moving among all the planks, you're um, dispersing the pressure evenly so that um, when, I'm, when I'm done with this, I'm gonna want it all to look like this and it'll all be smooth. There, and I can take it down to about there. You know, don't worry about tiny little spots. We're just, we're just gonna prime up from there. And notice I keep my hand moving on the sander. Um, and that is because if you hold it still in one spot for too long, it will sand down that one spot lower than you want it to, and then it's gonna be a lot harder to sand down the rest to match it. 